Graphing Linear Equations from Standard Form and Slope Intercept Form. This video will demonstrate how to graph linear equations. We'll look at two types of equations. Equations in Standard Form and Equation in Slope Intercept Form. Are we going to use the graphing calculator for this lesson? No, we're not. If you know me, you know how much this is out of character for me, but we can do this just as easily without a graphing calculator as with one. Let's talk about Standard Form first. This is an equation in Standard Form. 4x plus 5y equals 20. The simplest explanation of an equation in standard form is that the variables are on one side of the equation and a number is by itself on the other side of the equation. There are a couple other rules for being in standard form like x variable has to be positive and the coefficients of the variables and the number have to be the smallest integers possible. But we won't worry about those conditions because we're just trying to solve problems without regard to sacred traditions and conventions of algebra. The strategy we'll use has us find the x-intercept of this equation and the y-intercept, then to graph the equation by simply drawing a line through the two points. We solve for the x-intercept by covering up the y-term. I like using my thumb for that. With the thumb covering the y-term, we, ha we have 4x equals 20. What we do to solve for the x-intercept is calculate x by dividing by the coefficient of x, which is 4. So, so 20 divided by 4 equals 5. The x-intercept is 5. Mark the point on the x-axis, and that's the x-intercept of 5. Now we find the y-intercept by setting x equal to 0 by covering up the x term. So that gives us 5y equals 20. We solve for the y-intercept by dividing both sides of that equation by 5. So our y-intercept is 20 divided by 5, and that equals 4. And we graph the point along the y-axis at y equals 4. And now we're ready to graph the equation by drawing a line through the two points. For that, we can line up a ruler to help us draw a reasonably straight line. And with that ruler in place, we can draw an accurate line. And here is that line. This is the line for the equation 4x plus 5y equals 20. Now let's look at this equation. 3x plus 12 equals 5y. This equation is not in standard form or slope-intercept form, so we need to get it to standard form with a number on one side and variables on the other side to easily graph it. The easiest way I see to get it in standard form is to move that x term on the left, 4x, to the other side of the equation. And over here on the other side of the equation, that changes signs to become minus 4x. Now we can solve for the x-intercept by covering the y term with our thumb. That leaves us negative 4x equals 12. We solve for x by dividing both sides of the equation by negative 4, such that x equals 12 divided by negative 4. And 12 divided by negative 4 is negative 3. So that will be our x-intercept, negative 3, and we mark it at x equals negative 3 on the x-axis. We now cover the x term to solve for the y-intercept. That leaves us with 6y equals 12. We solve for the y-intercept by dividing both sides by 6, and since 12 divided by 6 is 2, our y-intercept is 2. We mark that y-intercept of 2 on the y-axis. Having two points, we graph the line by drawing a line through those two points. This is the graph of the equation 12 equals 6y minus 4x. Let's look at this one. 2x minus 4y equals 16. Now stop the video, graph the equation, then restart the video to see if you graphed it correctly. First, we cover the y term with our thumb so that 2x equals 16 remain. Solving for x, we divide by 2 so that x equals 8. We mark that x-intercept of 8 at, at the 8 mark on the x-axis. Now we cover the x term, and we have negative 4y equals 16. We find the y-intercept by dividing both sides by negative 4. So 16 divided by negative 4 is negative 4. We can mark that y-intercept at y equals negative 4. Now we can complete graphing by drawing the line through the two points. This is the graph of the equation 2x minus 4y equals 16. 
Let's look at an equation in slope-intercept form with the y variable by itself on one side of the equation. This is y equals 2x minus 3. Slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. I like to think of the b as, as b as in beginning for the y-intercept. So we take that negative 3, which is the b, and mark it here on the y-intercept. We have y-intercept of negative 3. Next thing we do is look at the m, or slope. To use the slope here of 2, we need to make a fraction out of it. What is the fraction of the integer 2? Well, it's 2 over 1. With 2 over 1, we need to start at the y-intercept and move up 2. So that would be your rise. Then to the right, 1. So the run is 1. Now we mark that second point here. Now we use these two drawn points to create the line of the function, and this is the graph of y equals 2x minus 3. Let's look at this function in slope-intercept form. y equals negative 4 fifths x plus 2. The first thing we notice is that the b, or y-intercept, is 2. So we place that first point at y equals 2 on the y-axis. Now we take the rise on that numerator, and that is negative 4. And that rise, it can go either up or down. Now negative 4 means down 4. We use that to go down 4 from our initial point, or y-intercept. Then we take the denominator of 5 and use it to run to the right from where we left off after our rise. That run always goes to the right. Run always goes to the right. Rise can go up or down. Now we mark our second point on the line here. Then we can draw through our two points to define that line. So this is the graph of the equation y equals negative 4 fifths x plus 2. Uh, let's look at this last one. Stop the video and graph the equation, then restart to see if you worked it correctly. Okay, first we mark the y-intercept at negative 5. Since the x term is x, we draw in the slope of 1 over 1, because uh, no number next to that variable means 1, and so in fraction form that's 1 over 1. We can draw the rise of positive 1 and the run of positive 1. You see that little upline segment and overline segment. And we mark our second point here. Now we have two points to draw that line. And here it is. Let's review. If you have an equation in standard form like this one, you can graph it with two points. Cover the y term, then solve for x, which gives the x-intercept. The x-intercept here is 21 divided by negative 3, which equals negative 7. Mark the x-intercept on the x-axis. Next, cover the x term, then solve for y, which will be the y-intercept. The y-intercept is 21 divided by 7, which equals 3. Mark the y-axis at y equals 3. All that remains is to draw the line through the two points. Now to review how to graph an, an equation in slope-intercept form with the y by itself on one side of the equal sign. For slope-intercept form, mark the y-intercept first on the y-axis. In this case, it is going to be negative 3. And here it is, marked at y equals negative 3 on the y-axis. We look at the numerator of the slope in front of the x term. We take that number and go up or down from the y-intercept. Since this is 3, that is a rise of 3, and we go up 3 from the y-intercept. After that, we look at the denominator of that slope and go to the right that many units. This is the run, and it will always be the right, and we go to the right 4 units. And then we mark that second point here. And with those two points, we can draw the line. This has been Graphing Linear Equations from Standard Form and Slope-Intercept Form. Thanks for viewing.